So it was a sailing holiday in Croatia. It was a week long. We had a, we had a great time. It was on the second night uh, that Joe and I were fortuitously placed next to each other at dinner. So before then, we hadn't really spoken. We sat next to each other at dinner. And it was at this point that I came face to face with this big, vibrant ball of, of energy, fun, excitement, and words. There were so, there were so many words. Joe is never short of things to say. And although there were 16 of us around the table, it really felt as though there were just two. And I knew then that Joe was very, very special. And the amazing thing is, after four years of being together and seeing each other almost daily, that energy, fun and excitement shows no signs of diminishing. And if anything, it grows stronger and stronger each day. And it's that that fills me with so much excitement uh, about our future together and all the adventures that we're going to have. So I'd organized a surprise week away and planned to Mauritius and had planned to propose on the Wednesday after the dinner, so midway through the week. And my proposal planning had been military. I had, I had picked out the restaurant well in advance, cooked it up. I visited the restaurant in person that day on my own um, and hand selected a table with a nice sea view uh, and agreed with the restaurant staff that our table would have a different colored tablecloth to make it really stand out. And a nice big bouquet of flowers on it. No other table had flowers, so it really made it stand out. And all of this detail went unnoticed on Joe. So Joe had spent all day tanning and sunbathing, and I mean all day, in, in direct Mauritian sun. So as we got to the restaurant, and I knew something wasn't quite right because Joe was, you know, barely said a word. And as we got to the restaurant and we sat down, Joe broke the news to me that after four consecutive days of eight hour a day sunbathing, she felt unwell and thought she had, thought she had sunstroke. Now, now to the layman, to the layman, that sounds like a recipe for an awful date. But to a guy that was punching well above his weight and, and on the verge of proposing, those conditions played straight into my hands. And as we finished up dinner and we walked hand in hand from the restaurant to the hotel along the Mauritian beach and underneath the Mauritian stars, and I got down on one knee and asked Joe to marry me and she said yes. It was at that point I was filled with just overwhelming joy and happiness because I knew then I'd be spending the rest of my life with someone who in my eyes is just perfect. Stay.